Lanesville is about one of the most unique communities you're ever going to find. It's Work hard down here. Fishermen, carpenters, the masons. And it's always been an artist community. You know, artists are a little offbeat. Lanesville people, I think, are a little bit more eccentric, if you will, and a little more self-sufficient. When people think of Lanesville, they're like, oh, there's wild Lanesville people. You grew up more as a family than friends and neighbors. And it also is a place where everybody feels a freedom. Maybe because it is an outpost, it is out of the way, and we tend to do our own thing. It started July 4th, 1991, in someone's backyard. There was a gang of us there, and we decided we were going to not go to Rockport. They had the Rockport bomb play and the Rockport parade, which we were going to. And we didn't want to go to the stupid fucking Rockport goddamn parade. So we said the hell with that. And decided to just march down the middle of the road with pots and pans that they found in the cupboard. You know, we started drinking mudslides. And that's really how the parade started. When we tried to inform the police that we were going to be marching down the middle of the road, the first time they were like, no way. And what do you mean you're going to be walking down the street? I'm just letting you know we're having a parade. And I, you know, I think we went up around to High Street and came back down Tucker, and then back to Lanes Cove, and some of us would jump in. So we took old broken lobster pots because it was cold. <laughs> we just piled them in a pile. And they would just assemble the bonfire. It all just fell into place with all of us. We all just started hooting and hollering and marching up and down the street. They just felt like doing something kind of crazy. It has grown in size. Uh, exponentially. I mean it does look kind of out of control. But you don't want to organize a parade too much because then you get your politicians and then they get cars in them and then they get boring and they're not fun anymore. Nobody's in charge. That's the key. <laughs> it started getting more rebellious as it grew. So we just kept doing it and we did it without them bothering us for a few years. That comes from being at the end of the world. The police don't care about us normally, so them telling us you can't walk down the middle of the street is kind of foolish because they're not going to come down and stop them anyhow. The chief or whatever it would come down and says, we just leave these people alone. Love the band. Uh, Nick Parisi started the band. Ba-ba, 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 ba-ba. Nick is the one who usually gets everybody going, gets, gets everybody wound up for it. When I'm ready to go, I'll grab a branch off a tree and hang a rag around it. After march in a few feet, I get a little bored. I just said it made it up one day. All right, crazy time, and everyone just blows and dances all through the streets. Uh, you know, it's better to be talented, but most of us weren't, so. I'd be chasing down the sidelines, trying to keep an eye on them as we go, and Nicky bringing them on all over, the, in, the, in and out of the streets here, you know. Didn't go through the road, just walked in people's backyards, waving and saying hello. Everyone loved us. What band? <laughs> Do you really think there's a band in this parade? <laughs> Jane and I really focus on the younger kids, you know, because the band gets a little crazy, but it's a good crazy. You know, being independent and feeling your spirit that day. And that's really what America's all about. It's not about the hugely disciplined, well-staffed brass band that's, that's doing it. It's about, you know, a bunch of local people coming into a kazoo, and it's, it's just as moving. The first few uh, years of the parade, We'd go down Lanes Cove afterwards when it started getting dark and we'd have a, a campfire sized small bonfire and there was no issues with it until they started actually building the bonfire before the parade. And that's when the police started taking notice and the fire department started taking notice. Yeah, he told us 35 feet was top, but this year we didn't have a crane so we couldn't really put anything big on top. So 35 just, feet is tops for actually uh, residential buildings, so anything that has to do with wood construction or uh, anything with uh, concrete, 35 feet.
as with anything that starts small and becomes bigger and bigger, the problems grow with it. And that's probably one of the issues that the parade faces, the bonfire being so large. Got a little out of hand the last year, I think. My husband and I had been on the committee to go down to the fire station to ask for the permit each year, and we backed it each year, but we're not going to back it for this year, no. You can't go any bigger than the last time because the cove can't handle it. The people who build the fire and stuff, it's like 20 people. There's like 2,000 freaking people down there, you know, and now it's just like... <laughs> they say 3,500. I think it was closer to 4,000, if you ask me. I mean, it was shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow. You couldn't walk down the cove. It's the first time that Lanesville has been trashed on the 4th of July, too. There were a lot of people from out of town, from other places, that really didn't care. Now you got the, all these other kids coming down. I don't know who they are. Hopefully they can be a lot better next year. We like to share it, but we just don't want to lose it. They're frightened of that, the Lanesville people right now. They're frightened of that. They're frightened of who's going to sign the permits and who's going to you know, be responsible and things like that. And it's almost time for the city to be responsible. I think everybody would like to see it remain a neighborhood type of parade. Um, it's, it's actually something for them to be proud of. I hope they don't give up because it's easy to give up when the pressure's on. It started out with just a gang that we used to hang out with and then now mm -hmm. it's the younger generation also and what they contribute to it. And but do you think it'll ever mean to them what it meant to us? I'm not sure it can. We got to get it back to the way it was in the beginning. I'd love to see this thing go on and go on and go on. I can't wait for the fourth. I saw marching two by two in my dream of the big parade. I saw a.